Who has upset you? Is it Arya? I think there's a dislike for Arya, but I'm not sure. Yep, Arya and Joe hate each other, even though they cook together. Wild. <laughs> it's a secret society running the world who are always very slightly drunk at the point of having had slightly less than two drinks at all times. That sounds awful, but they're like that. I <laughs> can't fuck down, care. I generally hate people. That's fair. All right, ladies and jelly spoons. Let's see where the votes have lined it up. So... Our, let's go from top to bottom. Seven votes for Kea. Six votes for Dix, Dixie. Dixie. Three votes for Joey. Four, three votes for Gibbo. One vote for Aria. One vote for Shiv. So Aria and Shiv will be entering the elimination poll, which will be up on stream in just a second. Manage poll. New poll. Who is being eliminated? Aria. Or Shiv. Uh, it's a 10 minute poll, so get your votes in. Um, duration, 10 minutes, and send it. Good luck, Arya. Good luck, Shiv. Man, that's a. I couldn't decide between those two. Uh, very angry Shiv for no reason. Everyone just gets randomly angry and va randomly oh. scared. I don't fully understand what's going on in this game anymore. Don't you upset Joey, Shiv. You'll be joining the pit. Yafla Barbgore? Karenzi? Yep! <laughs> yep, uh, chatting. Sorry, chat, cat emergency. Uh, it's how I got through the bed virus time, being about 20 cent tipsy at all times. <laughs> I just didn't I remember drinking at all while I was like that. 15 hours to starvation. Let's see our two contestants for death. Playful, Shiv. Playful. Aria. They are both trying to appeal to everyone's sensibilities. Grush. Shiv is upset in him though, so. Benchwe Kabaya? Yes. Em is trying to cheer Shiv up, but Shiv is just mad. Angry. No, that seems to have solved it. Never mind. That didn't take long. Losing control. So we've got a grudge in the house, which may be resolved quite quickly. <laughs> um, but we also have just angry Shiv. But also playful Shiv, who's enjoying the fire. Also, Shiv's been through... Uh, I'm not trying to appeal to anybody's sensibilities on the elimination here, but Shiv's been through a lot. He's been on fire twice. Um, he's our most accomplished cook, but he is crazy. Arya is also crazy. And listen, no need to yuck yums or insult anybody or anything like that, but um, we had a great salad. I, I, I don't know how important that is to anybody here. Um, but she has made a mean salad. So, people like Coldplay and voted for the Nazis. You can't trust people. Just call them Tories. Oh, the trash is full. And nobody can empty it. Oh my god. I just realized this house is going to get more and more chaotic. That is unfortunate. Gibbo, sad and stinky, by the way. You hate to see it. Maybe he's going to go resolve this issue himself. 
Wait, maybe? He's figuring it out. He's figuring it out. Arya's bouncing in trash, which, you know, more than legally allowed to do. Toilet stinky. Shower brokey. Man, this house is just falling apart. Airbell has identified the Tetra, a new type of fish reported in certain fishing spots from Alex Shiv. I think Shiv likes this music. Who has the radio and the TV on at the same time? A mean salad, that's not very nice. Very true. Hello, AJ Smiles. Welcome along. Hope you're well. Is AJ is that a uh, play on AJ Styles, by the way? Because if it is, uh, plus one. Shiv mad? Not sure why. Go far. The boy. Oh. Yelling at the trash. If you're a sim, I'm sure that's uh, one of the most cost-effective ways to solve any issue. Yell at the salad. Make it, put it, make it, make it a shirt. Yell at the salad. What the fuck? <laughs> I do not have a modifier then, it's just AJ. Well, welcome AJ, hope you're well. Welcome along. Welcome to uh, Big Jazz, the season three episode four. I have no idea what episode we're on. Um, if you don't know what this is, Big Jester is much like Big Brother. We have uh, eight contestants in the house. Um, we eliminate one every week at the moment. Uh, we're waiting for uh, Courtney over here to die. Uh, all the uh, contestants are modeled after people that we know in the stream community. And uh, his name isn't John Cena, but uh, you know, it's great. This is Murdo. Who isn't even in this week, but here he is. He looks great. Um, thank you very much for the follow. Very much appreciate it. Please raise your d d d dues in chat for AJ. Thank you very much. Mark him along. God, I still can't get over the fact that I got Murdo just pitch perfect. I incredible. Um, I actually had my girlfriend design all these characters in the house this time. Uh, the last two seasons, I did it myself, and it was terrible. I mean, it's fine, but you know, not the best. Joe has identified the trout, a new type of fish reported in certain fishing spots. How does Arya know about that? I forgot how majestic that Murdoch was. He's uh, he's like the most perfect sim I've ever created. Look at him. <laughs> he looks so stupid. Which is bad because he's modeled after someone I know. Look, well, what's with the side glances? What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <sighs> Alright, we got Arya dancing. What's, go what's going on with everybody? Gibbo's mad again. Why is he mad now? Losing control. Okay. Joe happy. Kaya on the toilet. Emma sleep while everyone's partying. Shiv is having a great time. Squiz dying. Arya having a great time. It's, you know, there's, there's mix of emotions in the house right now. Are they good motions? I have no idea. Are they good emotions? Very solid questions. All I know is our two uh, elimination uh, potentials are feeling very playful right now. Why are they feeling playful? Oh, but they are. Uh, who are we to judge? Oh, no. Okay. Now, now she was feeling flirty. Flirty, but. Scared of noises that aren't there, you know? I thought Joe was gonna go, um, cook with Shiv then. That was about to be a lovely moment. Turns out, no, not a lovely moment. Oh my god, we've got different music in here now. I felt like Shiv got rejected. That did seem like the case, right? Somebody was like, sorry, Shiv, not today, pal. 11 hours till death. Uh, Gibbo's scared of the... Oh my god, there are flies around his crotch. Oh no, it's the toilet. Never mind. <laughs> I thought my guy was suffering from stinky deck for a minute though. Which is, you know, awful. Yep, Kea with the cake is just uh, warming us up by the fire after a nice swim in the pond pool. She has changed the. I think she was just changed the radio station to old timey music. I feel like I'm on an adventure to like the mall as a cartoon character right now. A great time. Uh, 
Arya just went into the pool, I guess? Also angry, also scared, also flirty? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so many emotions, so little time. Gibbo's still running around scared for no reason. He, he's picked up the bowl. Did you- what just happened? Oh, he made a salad and then just like, ate part of it, picked it back up and ate it again. What is going on with this game? Yibzy Fadish. Oh no, Gibbo's not feeling well. That's sad. Okay, Ari is now flirty. As is Shiv. I see an opportunity for something before we kill one of you. By the way, I can't see the results right now, so I'm very excited to see them pop up in a minute. There's a bowl here. Does anyone want to clean that up? What is going on here? What is up? Walking with friends, but also chat with Andrew is on the list. I don't know what Ari is selling, but Gibbo seems to be buying. Which is weird because I don't have a lot of money. Kiss up. Ari is being eliminated though. Ripperino and Pepperino, sweet princess. So we'll allow access to Aria. And we'll walk her here. That's it. Aria is our next elimination. We seem to be uh calling people now. Uh lock for everyone. That's it. Welcome to the pit. You may talk to each other. You know what? I'm just going to add some uh, angry things here. Just to try and cause some issues. Insult face. Chew out. Ari's queue is full. I just want to see what happens here. Now that there's an elimination happening. Fight, fight, fight. I'd like to cause a fight. I don't think I'm going to get to though. Oh no, the radio broke. Lamook and Flarb and Flory. You know what I mean, chat? Oh, thumbs down? Arya is very angry. Imply mother is a llama. Oh, we can't throw the drink outside. Do you speak to your mother with that mouth? I, I don't. <laughs> she doesn't understand so much. Okay, good. That's. I feel like we just caused uh, a rift between the two of them right before uh, Squiz is about to die. Eight hours to death. But we'll uh, we'll leave them alone. We'll move on to the people that are actually still alive. Uh, what's Gibbo doing? Gibbo is uh, forming. I guess he's having a great time. Inspiring art, whatever that means. Shiv is asleep. Ko is asleep. M is playing chess by herself, and Joe is reading, uh, drinking a nice glass of water nearby, as she's wont to do. Drinking a glass of water right before she needs to go pee. I'm not saying the people that uh, these Sims are based on are smart people. I think they are, but I think their Sims are dumb as hell. Like, if you need a drink, I mean, if you need a pee, you go pee, right? Well, right there, Joe. You got this. Full faith. I just want to see a fight. We make him fight. Not you. Throw a drink, fly mugs, mock outfit, yell out, brush off, and insult. Offensive conversation. Uh oh, this conversation has taken a turn for the worse. Try apologizing or just walk away. No, I want to see you fight. I mean, if you're thirsty. Drink water while peeing. Problem solved. Joe, you're not happy about the living conditions? Have you considered doing something about them? Oh my god, someone's actually able to use the microwave? Is this even street legal? Don't worry, Joe, you're making oatmeal. There's no way you can fuck this up. Right? <laughs> it's probably fine. Um, Gibbo's feeling inspired, which is new. P 
PhD in micro micro wavery. Wather wavery. Micro wavery. I can say words good. I'm the goodest at doing words. Trust. Okay, good. Joe, I'm glad you're having a good time. I feel like someone should fix that. And that someone is going to be Gebo. Nope, we can either hire a repair service or replace. Nobody fixed that radio? Yes, but Gibbo cannot. But Shiv's going to have to do it. Being good at words? Can't relate. Same. Words is hard. Blarn? Blursh! Mashaloub! Blursh! Apparently. Check it, it's because I just woke him up. I'd be pretty pissed if I was told to wake up in the middle of the night to uh, fix. It's not the middle of the night, it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> do repair a thing. It's probably going to go fine and hopefully won't electrocute him and we won't get into that. Hmm. Hopefully it will go fine and he won't electrocute himself and we won't get a bonus elimination. That would suck. Arya's feeling happy. It's still an unpleasant conversation, apparently. Hung is a while yet. I don't think we'll lose Arya this episode. <laughs> Unless... Uh, Joe's just morphing through the sofa, as she's one to do. Gibbo's having a great time just chatting shit to Shiv while she was trying to fix the radio. Have you ever seen this situation? Reach handiness level two? Yo! Shiv's so accomplished in so many ways, yet he seems to be the one that always gets the bad stuff happening. Like, he had- he set both of the fires. He got set on fire twice. <laughs> Very unfortunate situation for Shiv. And now he survives. He survives uh, vote out, which is nice. There we go. All fixed. He's tense. Okay, cool. That's that done. You go to the toilet, do whatever you need to do. Missing out on dreams. Aww. That's so sad. Shared sadness. Seeing that someone Alex cherishes the suffering makes him sad. Who the hell do you cherish? There's nobody romantic. How bizarre? I, I can't figure that out. Alright, most beds occupied. Everyone's uh, having a good snooze. Uh, Gibbo's just sat here doing something. I'm not sure what the hell Gibbo's doing at this stage. Everything's fine? Like, he's got no issues whatsoever? He's just sitting and vibing. Watching the TV from the most awkward angle ever. Man, Gibbo's just living the life, huh? If you feel like you're missing out on dreams, why wouldn't you go to bed, is my question. I mean, you're, you're over halfway on energy, I suppose, but you know, what a fine life he leads, right? I wish I could just be fine. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, how far are we off to death? Four hours. It's still an unpleasant conversation. Yo, we can get it! Oh, we can't have them fight because they can't get to each other, apparently, even though they're right next to each other. Ooh. <laughs> She wants to go to the urn, but she can't get there. How sad. Oh, the boy's hanging out on the sofa? Why is he sad? <laughs> Hell dramatic story. I saw a dragon ball. What dragon are talking about? Like, dome so polish, sure. I use this one, it makes my head shiny. Oh yeah? Well, I use this one, and it makes my head smooth. Well, I prefer my head to be shiny. Well, I prefer mine to be smooth. Okay, I guess we're different people. That's, it. That's the conversation. I wish it was more exciting, but it's not. It's that. It's that simple. Paranoise. 
Aria mad? Aria mad? Aggravating conversation. Feeling angry after an unpleasant conversation. Understandable. Have a great day. I think I might need to expand the cells. So much understanding between them both, right? OMG. So relatable. Um, it, it's a lack of hair. All the ladies, by the way, sensibly asleep in bed. It's, you know, 2.30 on a Wednesday. Meanwhile, the two boys, feeling happy, having a conversation about nothing. Just vibing, existing, having a great time. All right, are we about to see another excellent salad? Very excited to find out. Pan face and Torb. Chat, have you ever seen such an expert chef in your life? This does look like it's set up to be a cooking show as well, which is pretty good. The Sims cooking show one. We took four tomatoes, a cabbage, and a pepper, threw them on a chopping board, and only had chopped tomatoes. Yeah, owls. Okay, he's tossing this salad like an absolute champion. He's very happy about this salad. I think. Oh, no. Nope. nope. There's a bit more tossing to do. Just when you think you're done tossing, there's more to do. What we got? It's a normal quality garden salad. It's okay, Chef. You're doing your best. Is he going to go sit back with the boys? He is! Let's go! The besties now! Aha. Imagine being pleased with yourself that you just whipped out a salad at uh, 3.29 in the morning. Imagine that life. They're still yelling at each other. Abhorrent confrontation! My god. Right before she's about to die? I mean, if I was about to die, I would probably also just yell at people too. Not that I'd know it was coming like, but you know. Don't worry though, uh, for anyone who's panicking, Squiz is social on bladder, absolutely fine. Hunger, energy, fun, and hygiene at the, uh, on the other side is, oof, badge. Ari needs to go stretch after just, she's just been berating Courtney. Any more? Any more? It's, uh, it's sad that Squiz isn't going to get to mourn Dan. Before dying. I think we just wait for the death now, huh? Two hours. Oh! Plus friends? Plus friends? I think things are going well. I can't tell. I want to go look at anybody else, but everybody else is asleep except for Shiv. You're just standing like a gimp over there. Oh, never mind. I thought they were becoming friends. I think Squiz just called Arya poor. It's hard to tell. Death. Okay, the countdown has begun. We're close. And everyone's going to go, oh no, Squiz! Even though Arya just like... Completely berated her for no reason. Just existing. Just vibing. Okay, everyone's asleep except for these two. At 10 to 5 on a Wednesday morning. Sleep. 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 Close to death. Are you going to have mad guilt, right? I'd feel awful if someone just died while I was uh, yelling at them. That's something you see in like... Uh, Cartoons, not cartoons, uh, movies and stuff, isn't it? When, like, someone yells at an old person, they just, like, die. It happened in the community. It does happen in TV shows. Oh, oh, a boo. He had a heart attack. Um, okay, four, three, two, hmm. one. Dead. Uh, Flerna, by the way, Flerna. And here's death. He's on his way. Arya just farted on Squiz's corpse. Um, I don't think that's okay. And now Arya's acting like the victim. And upsetting. Let me just get Arya into uh, formal gear to really mourn the situation. 
<laughs> Everybody else is sleeping through this, by the way. Shiv and Arya, falling apart. But everybody else, fast asleep. Not giving a fuck. Not giving a fuck. Get Shiv into his formals as well. We're attending a funeral. Def's just checking his, uh... Checking his Amazon orders. Making sure everything's okay. Wait, no, Arya's now laughing. That is concerning. Witness deaf, but also feeling confident and decorated. <laughs> Go on, deaf, do your worst. Another one bites the dust. And another one gone, and another one gone. Another one bites the dust. Hey, gonna get you two. Another one bites the dust. All right, there we go. Number two. Dead AF. Hey, how do I spin things again? I... It's not letting me do anything. I can drag it, but I can't spin it. It's okay. And some kind words to remember Courtney by. Second elimination. <laughs> oh, I don't know then. Well, there's Arya waiting death. That's right, fine. Hey, death, how's it going? Oh, and Arya's just peed herself. That is unfortunate. Right in front of death, too. Imagine meeting death and just peeing in front of him. Upsetting. Kea, by the way, no idea what has happened. It's just enjoying some animal crackers. And getting scared because she's eating animal crackers. Life, uh, life really do be hitting hard these days. Very upsetting. Imagine just vibing, enjoying life, and just randomly getting scared because you're eating animal crackers. Uh, uh, <sighs> you gay there, are you? Sooner. <laughs> <For now. laughs> uh, Death is still hanging out, by the way. Wow, I call him out and he immediately disappears. <laughs> 